Creating animated text for movie trailers and websites and TV show bumpers and all that kind of stuff is one of the main uses of After Effects. There are few, if any, programs out there that can do what After Effects does with text. And so this chapter is going to serve as a powerful introduction to the world of text. First, we're going to talk about creating text. So to do this, go down to the bottom of the project panel, create a new composition, NTSC DV, and go ahead and click OK. Actually, let's go ahead and change the duration to five seconds and click OK. Now, there's a few different ways to create text. I could right click in a blank area in the timeline panel, select new text. I could also use the type tool. If I click to select this tool and then I click in the composition panel, I can just start typing. Right now I'm in text edit mode because I've made some text. If I select V to get the selection tool back, then it actually types a V. So I'm a little bit stuck here. Previous to After Effects CS4, I would go up to the selection tool and click that. That would accept my text. In CS4, if I have a three button mouse, I can click with the middle button to accept my text. Now that's convenience right there. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and select that layer and hit delete on my keyboard to delete that. And there's another way to create text with this same tool. I can click and actually drag a box. Let me make it a little narrow one here. And let me go over here to the character panel and reduce the size of it by clicking on this pixeled count right here. It sets the font size. And let's say I four score, oops, I saw that right, score and seven years ago. As you can see, as we're typing, the text respects the box and follows accordingly. And if we go and resize this box, then the text will also resize accordingly. So if you need your text to be confined to a particular area, this is the way to do it. Click and drag a marquee with the type tool. Now I'm going to click with my middle mouse button and delete that as well. One of my favorite ways to create text, let's say I have the selection tool working and I'm doing some cool After Effects work, do to do, look at me go. One of the cool ways we can create text just from nothing, just by using a shortcut, is by using all the modifier shortcuts. That's Control Alt Shift on the PC, and that's Command Option Shift on the Mac, and the letter T. So I'm going to hit Command Option Shift T, and there's a cursor right in the center of my composition. So you hit Command Option Shift T or Control Alt Shift T, and then just start typing. Now you'll notice that once I accept my text, the name of my layer becomes the text that's on that layer. But if I just make some text, blah, 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 until I accept it, it just says empty text layer. So you got to be really careful. Let's say I go in and I'm making some adjustments here, as we'll talk about in the next movie, and I'm resizing things, and I'm doing this, that, and the other. And if I don't save it, if I decide, you know what, I don't like this, maybe I hit the escape key to cancel out of this, then I lose that text forever. So when you're first creating your text, as soon as you get to the point where you've got a base and you like it, then accept it and then go back in and edit it again. The way to edit text is just to simply move your type cursor icon. Watch this, see how there's like a little box around the cursor? As soon as I put the cursor close to text, that box disappears. So this icon means I'm going to create new text. This icon means I'm going to click and edit text that already exists. In the next movie, we'll look at how to format and customize your text.